has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Wildcats have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week, and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you get a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. And he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what, that was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. There's a strike complete, he's down. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch, that's fun to see. That'll bring up third and six. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 34. Booming kick. And he's tackled at the 23-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Seven yards there on that bit of misdirection. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He gets another carry, and he's taken down at the 31. The halfback picks up a yard. That'll make it third and one. played by the defense, but they'll come up just shy of the stop. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. That'll bring up second and 12. He's out of bounds around the 36-yard line. They'll line it up again on third down. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. You know, Brad, the defensive coordinator does a nice job with the coverage call here. Everybody's in position to be able to make the play. The only problem is they didn't intercept the football. That's something that uh, they got to be happy with the coverage, but not happy with the result. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Too easy, too easy. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Here we go. He's on the run. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. That makes it second and six. On the ground with the tailback. Knocked him down for a loss. I think he made a late read of the defense there. Quarterback needs to be much more decisive with his option reads. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. 
He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. A decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Nice run to the outside. From their own 33-yard line, second down. the toss left and he's tackled after positive yardage and he carried that one for a few yards you know when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game three yard gain by the running back nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle it's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 41. Check Mike 46. Ready. Flag 98. Flag 98. Easy, easy, easy. Big dog. Big dog. He makes it out to maybe the 43 yard line. The draw play gets maybe two yards. Third down. So at the end of one quarter, now this one's scoreless. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set to start the second quarter. He really got a hold of that one. He takes it in at the 14, and down he goes at the 19-yard line. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Tries to get around the corner. Decent run here, right side. That brings him second and five. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. From their own 24-yard line, third down. Scrambling around. That's a great tackle at the 19. Puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's tackled at the 41. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. 
He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. They'll bring him down at the 49-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He's taken down at the 49. Just a good showing on all three downs by the defense. That should fire him up. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Tackle at the 46-yard line. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. And down he goes at the 44. That's good for a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike 46. Check Mike 46. Here we go. Watch the black 68. Black 68. Caught and big hit there to stop him. That makes it fourth and eight. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Red two. Made the 20 yard line. That's how we do, dude. That's how we do. They don't want to know. They don't want to know. Check, check. Check, check. Check, check. He gets rid of this one. It's third and 10. Ball on the 20. Here's the halfback on the screen. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. This is the kind of solid, consistent play you look for in your defense. Let's see if the offense can follow it up. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down at the 43. Both defenses really played well so far, Herbie. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And they make the stop at about the 43-yard line. From the 43-yard line, first down. Slings it to his tight end, but he drops it. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. He needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. Just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. Here we go. Black 90. Black 90. Motion, motion, motion. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. Brought down. Right around the 40. Number 23, 23 brings, brings him down, down to the 40-yard line. line. That, that brings, brings up fourth, fourth and seven. seven. 
Iowa could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, looks long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. And he's immediately tackled. Northwestern just took their first time out. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. And he's tackled around the 40-yard line. So they gain six yards on the play and pick up the first down. The blitzer's coming in fast, but the quarterback stood his ground, found his receiver, and moved the chains. And he's taken down at the 48. Check, check. That's good to bring in 12 yards. First down. Set. Blue 19. Blue 19. He's scrambling. Runs with it, and he's got room. He's tackled right around the 38-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Now he tries to buy some time. And they got him. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. He's going to try and scramble. He's at the 30. They'll bring him down around the 26-yard line. We've reached halftime, and we couldn't have asked for a better first half. 3-0, Hawkeye. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. I'm a fan of seeing guys one step wrap, two step squeeze, bring your feet, arrive with bad intentions. Uh -huh. uh, I don't want to take anything away from these defensive guys, David, but could this be that we're seeing a healthy dose of some pretty bad offense, too? It goes hand in hand, doesn't it, Reese? I mean, oh, sometimes. usually, sometimes, uh, you know, pretty good defense makes, you know, average offenses look really, really bad. But, you know, it, when you have a great defense and you can take something away, especially the strength of the other offense, and make them do things that they don't do exceptionally well. And, you know, don't let them throw the fastball, make them throw the curve. And you see great defenses be able to do that all the time. And, and that's when you can be ultra successful. You have to find ways to make people play you know, the game out of their comfort zone. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Iowa is up by three. He's taken down right around the 32-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Get away from the pressure. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're gonna kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're gonna get embarrassed on Monday on that one. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 46. Check Mike 46. Ready! Ready! Three, three, three. They got 
on him, and it's intercepted. Touchdown, Wildcats. So they'll review this to see if the receiver had control of the ball. But I got to tell you, I think it looked like the ball bounced into his hands. We'll take another look at the play here. And I'll be honest, I couldn't tell if he made the catch or not. Man, from our angle, it was really hard to tell. I think this one could go either way. After review, After review of the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the, on the field, field stands. stands. So they review it, but there's just not enough evidence to overturn this one. And he hits the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Brad, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread, or the pistol, and hurry up tempo offense, and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Knocked out of bounds at the 30-yard line. That brings them second and five. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. That was the junior linebacker who get credit with the tackle there. Throws it away. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. Oh, excellent punt. He makes it to the 32 yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Northwestern is up by four. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. He scrambled. it out oh boy almost intercepted well the offense catches a break here that ball should have been intercepted there by the safety so the quarterback gets the ball back here for this next down they've got 10 guys up they're coming after the kick and this one is a beauty he steps out at the 32 yard line this deficit can be easily overcome sure but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's on the run. He gets sacked on the play. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 32. Quick out to his receiver. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. So they go to the air and pick up six. You get six yards, and that makes picking up a first down very reasonable. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. 
He's finally tackled at the 31-yard line. What a huge third down run. A big, big gain and a new set of downs to keep the drive alive. So we've got a first down after a great running play. Out of bounds around the 31-yard line. Fake, looking to run. He's at the 20. Tackle at the 15 yard line. From the 15 yard line, first down. Huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. That brings up second and goal. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the five. Yards there. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards, but the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Hey, me and you all day. All day. They're crowding the line. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Ready. Easy, easy, easy. Lucky! Lucky! Motion, motion, motion. Touchdown, Iowa! <laughs> Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 68-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Well, the blocking up front was just amazing. I think that's what led them to those big runs. Nice kick, plenty of distance, and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Hawkeyes continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. Swings it out left to the halfback. He's out of bounds at the 21. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. Number 14, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and 14. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Iowa holds a field goal lead. And he throws it away. From their own 43-yard line. Second down. Tries 
have to scramble, but he's sacked. I think the quarterback here, even though he came up with a sack and he's on his back, he's also guilty here of not getting a better pre-snap read. You know, a lot of quarterbacks would get caught up in their size and their arm strength and how they throw the football, but the really good quarterbacks bring the intangibles to the table, and that means recognizing a blitz and affecting the offensive line and making the right call to adjust the protection. That time, he didn't do that. That's three down and one to go. The Hawkeyes with a three-point lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Big stop there early in the fourth quarter. And the way this game has been played and how tight it's been, every defensive stop will be huge. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Up to this point, I wouldn't want to be an offensive coordinator in this game, but you know what? There's still time left. There's still time left, and it's still a competitive game. As bad as these offenses have looked, if you can string together a play or two, maybe try to get in the field goal range, who knows, maybe a touchdown on the board, it could be the difference in the game. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Carries the ball for a nice game. That's a deep four. That makes it second and six. Caught open field, and down he goes at the 43-yard line. Number five on the tackle at the 43-yard line. That will bring up third and inches. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. That makes it first and ten. And he is drilled at the 48-yard line. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 48-yard line. Set. Oklahoma! And they make the stop at the 47. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. And that's the safety who stepped up to make that tackle. Complete. He's got room. He's at the 30, and he hits him hard at the 21-yard line. Huge play for both the quarterback and receiver, but it all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw. And they push him out around the 17-yard line. That makes it second and six. Just throws this one away. They've been two for two on third downs on this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. He's got it out to his tight end. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. That's a game of 13 on the ball. That makes it first and goal. Scrambling around. Brought down around the two-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Touchdown, and now they're in front. He 
makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. I tell you what, this is something Pollock could love. Crunch time and a defensive battle. Well, he's sitting back at that studio loving this. Two defenses that are really imposing their will on these two offenses. Maybe they can even score to help out one of these offenses win the game. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Nice play fake. Had protection, now scrambles. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. They simply have too much speed for this offensive line. They're just too quick off the ball. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Steps out of bounds around the 27-yard line. Sacks. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. Come on, get ready, get ready. All right, guys, let's go. Let's settle up. Let's go. Let's go. We run. Just over two minutes in the game. Booming kick. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He makes it out to midfield. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 50-yard line. And he's tackled around the 47-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. Iowa's going to have to use their second time out of the half. using their third and final timeout. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. For Northwestern, they've been coming after the quarterback all day long. Good pass rush by these guys today. They also have that one takeaway. This offense hasn't done a good job of moving the ball either. Well, their outfit has been dismal so far, that's for sure. When you have a bunch of negative plays, it drags you down. The defense will look to close it out right here. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Watch 19, watch 19. Slings it. Knocked out of bounds, right around the 16-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Just under two to go in the game. There's a strike complete. Taken down at about the 37-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. This quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Here they come. Ball is loose. Fumble. They fall on it. He's taken down around the 32-yard line.
third and long, and this is where you earn your money if you're the offensive coordinator. Three down, three down. Hey, check my 46. Check my 46. Ready. Easy, easy, easy. Lucky 95. Watch Lucky 95. <laughs> Throws in a hurry. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. and now the offense has got a chance to win it. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. Throws it deep. Wow, what a battle, and what a stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. So not a lot of time left, and they've got an opportunity right now, if they score, to put the nail in the coffin in this game. Under a minute left in the game. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. It's second and 12. Ball on the 35-yard line. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Blue 14. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. 14-10, Northwestern. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.